Hello, Sycamore. Happy Marvelous Monday. Today is December 18th. And the winter break countdown continues. Exams start tomorrow, and we have four more days to go till, till winter break. So, so stay super focused and finish 2023 super strong. Let's all please stand with our fellow Americans and those who fight for our free country and make it a great place to live. Be grateful for our freedoms as we say a pledge of allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you to military he heroes who defend our freedom every day. And let's please be seated. I'm Gavin. And I'm Sophia, here with our daily video announcements. Over to Mr. Stern, our Dean of Students. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to do our first installment of Stern's Mailbox. So certainly appreciate those of you who have reached out with some questions or concerns. So uh, we'll start with kind of a lighthearted one. Uh, the question was, if, if I went out for a sport, um, my seventh grade year and I was cut, can I then again try out in the eighth grade? And, and of course, um, definitely, and, and we would hope that you would uh, take the feedback that you got from coaches or, you know, you realize, like, for example, if it's cross country, you didn't make the cut time, that you've, you've spent some time working on trying to make that cut time, and that's fantastic. We certainly hope that you would then, again, come out for... Uh, that particular sport so certainly uh, and yeah if you do get cut from a sport whether it's in junior high or high school and I'm sure many of you have heard the Michael Jordan story about him getting cut from the athletics and then became the greatest well one of the greatest basketball players ever yeah don't give up um, keep working towards uh, whatever your goals sure might be so hey speaking of athletics we would love to see some of you at our game next Thursday that would be uh, the boys, uh, they are playing Creekside, and you might recall from earlier this year, uh, we did a game where we actually uh, gave out tickets at halftime, and I drew one ticket and brought that individual um, pizzas for um, themselves and their friends, so uh, we'll do that again. Um, so we did that for volleyball back in the fall, and we'll do that um, on uh, December 20th, so uh, if you can... Join us on December 20th, uh, come to the game, come see the boys play Creekside. So the other uh, question that came in through Stern's mailbox was, what if I see something? What if there's something that I'm noticing at school that I'm really uncomfortable with and, and I, and I, I want to do something about it? What's the best way? And, and let's talk about what that something might be. That could be you're worried about a friend who's, who's been depressed. Um, you feel like um, you know, somebody's not, not treating you or they're bullying you. Um, it could be that you have seen drugs in our school and that's really making you uncomfortable. Um, whatever it might be, if you know, if, you know, we kind of say that whole thing about, you know, if something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. So there's something going on, what do you do? For example, you, you think somebody might have a weapon, you, you heard a rumor. Um, definitely, if there's somebody in the building that you feel comfortable with, it might be a teacher, coach, a counselor, an administrator, um, it could be anyone, it could be um, you know, our resource officer, whomever that might be, definitely feel comfortable going to them. So, it, and, and again, kind of like the character cards, it's, it's not really about you, it's about getting that information out so then we can investigate whatever that situation is. It's, again, it's not, it's not about you, it's not about using your name, it's about giving us information so we can move forward on that. What if you don't have a relationship in the building? There's not somebody here that you feel comfortable with. So the state of Ohio does offer a safe school tip line. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can text this line as well. And that's really what they're out there for. You want to report someone that you believe is, is, is depressed and you're, you're really concerned about what they might do. Or you know somebody that's really getting bullied relentlessly and, and you want to be able to reach out and help them. So. Uh, Behind me, I'm assuming, I don't know if it's there yet, but I think it will be there. There is a phone number, and that phone number is 
3764. And again, you can text it, you can call it, and just let them know, hey, here at Sycamore Junior High, I have the following concern. Um, of course, guys, you got to make sure that if you are using that number, it's just like 911. It's it's a pretty serious number, so you don't want to use it in jest or because you're angry at someone, because then that's just going to go back against you. But the idea is, hey, if you want to help your school, you have some concerns about what's going on, you do have an obligation to, to do what's right. And the right thing is to be able to reach out to someone who might be a little bit more knowledgeable and can definitely take those next steps to help you out. Hey, this is our last week. I know we're all very, very excited about going on an extended break, but guys, all school rules still apply this week. So again, from what we said earlier, if something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. So try to make good decisions this week. Have a great day, folks. Thanks, Mr. Stern. And as he mentioned, to interact with Mr. Stern's mailbox, go to the Junior High Community Canvas page to access the Aviator Airways slash News Crew Communications form. Please note, the flight crew will not meet today. The next meeting, Monday, January 8th, following winter break. Enjoy your holidays. FTC Robotics' next meeting is today after school from 3 to 5.30 p.m. Make sure to sign up on the list to communicate that you and parents are attending. Also, Wednesday's okay. meeting is canceled except for the bill team members that make arrangements with Ms. Jarvis to work until 4.30 p.m. Attention, Friday's first cl class tickets result. The following students were chosen to compete against Mr. Heil in the Mario Kart. Caleb Dallas, Zach Bain, and Joey Conley. Mr. Heil will reach out to the students with details on when the competition will take place. Power of the Pen competition team meeting is today from 320 to 420 in Miss Huff's room as well, 2212. Guess what we wear tomorrow? Tuesday the 19th is Wear Red Day. So plan to wear red for the first day of the world language exams tomorrow. Wednesday the 20th is the Sugar Plum Day. Wear purple for our World Language and Math Exam. December 21st is Snowman slash Tinsel Day in the Art Written Exam. December 22nd is Ugly Sweater Day. Now over to Mr. Brenner for an important student information about school links. Hello everyone, Mr. Brenner here with a quick announcement mm -hmm. for 8th grade students specifically. So 7th graders, you can tune out. 8th graders, this is for you. Last year, all of you were introduced to School Links. It's our college and career readiness program. And next Tuesday, December 19th, we will revisit School Links during flex time. Uh, the goal is to do a quick assessment and ultimately just re-familiarize yourself with navigating the program School Links. Uh, so on Tuesday, the to-do item, so when you log into School Links, you'll have a list of to-dos. The to-do item for that day is the Find Your Path Assessment. Uh, it's the same assessment that you first took last year. It only takes a few minutes. Um, and after you complete that task, you are welcome to browse all the other activities. Uh, the biggest difference this year in School Links is that you have, uh, they've added a high school course planning feature, which is pretty fantastic, guys. Um, and you will not only be doing your ninth grade course planning, but you're welcome to do all four years of high school if you want to. So it's a great feature that we've added to School Links, and we're going to be doing that in either late January, early February. So our objective really for Tuesday is just to get back into school links for the eighth graders, re-familiarize yourself with navigating the program and to do the find your path assessment. Also keep your eyes on an email guys. Um, information about school links will be coming to you so you can easily navigate things. Um, as a reminder, the school links link mm -hmm. can be found on the student launch pad. And all you have to do there is then log in with your Sycamore Google account, and you will be good to go. So again, on Tuesday, 8th graders only, school links, uh, quick activity, and you do that, you can access that through the launch pad. 
If you guys have any questions, please reach out to your counselor and we will help you out. Thanks, Mr. Brenner. That was very helpful. Hey guys, Danny and Noam back, back again, again with water bottle, bottle flipping. flipping. We finally got the winners of water bottle flipping. Well, there's the, only one. There's there's only one, one winner. And the winner is Miss Stein. Miss Stein's class, you have won your prize, and we will give it to you guys by next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week. All right, and thank you for all the other participants that tried out. Good job, and we'll see you guys next time Bye, for guys. our next activity. All right, Bye. signing off. See ya. Clear out the lost and found. After next week, we're going to invite parents in to come up and check it out. It'll be up by the attendance office. But if you want to stop by in the meantime and get your things. And please don't use the lost and found as a locker. If you need to know your locker number, come see me in the office and I'll tell you what your locker number is. Mark your calendars. Upcoming in January after winter break. January 8th, we return from winter break. And January 9th through 10th is the art exam part 2 portfolio review slash class critique. January 17th is upcoming freshman camp where 8th graders can go to the high school. So 8th graders, please tell your parents to not plan any early dismissal is between 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m on January 17th. Again, no early dismissals between 9 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. that day on January 17th. Next up, birthdays. birthdays! Happy birthday to those celebrating today. Students, Francesca M. And that's it. Enjoy celebrating your day. Now over to Kendall and you, as a matter of fact, for the joke of the day. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm here with Kendall for the joke of the day. <laughs> What's a dog's favorite food? I don't know what. Pasta. Oh, I get it. Pasta. <laughs> a hearty, hearty heart. Ha <laughs> ha. That's too funny. That's too positively funny. Nice one, Kendall. And you, as a matter of fact. Well, that's all we have for today. Have a great day. And go Aves! Go Aves.